Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. Due to the threat of censorship and deletion of certain channels lately, I have also started posting on the library platform as well. The link is below in the description. In the event this channel gets taken down I will still be posting there. It is sad that I have to do this, but it is what it is for now. More and more of us will be moving over to the decentralized systems on blockchain, where freedom of speech still means something. First article of interest for today, Rafa Dane Bank requires some departments to activate the MasterCard and receive their salaries electronically. Rafa Dane Bank called on some state departments to expedite the activation of the MasterCard cards and receive the salaries of their employees for the month of May electronically and not manually. The bank's media office said in a statement that the bank is asking some department account managers to activate the MasterCard cards for its employees that were received by the bank so that the salary for this month can be dispersed electronically. He pointed out that the directors of the accounting departments of some departments must address the general administration of the bank and instruct to complete all procedures related to activating the MasterCard especially in light of the conditions the country is currently living in due to the coronavirus and the need to leave manual cash and deal with the electronic system for paying the salary. Next article of interest. Deputy. The Iraqi economic system is built at the expense of the future of future generations. The race MP, Masoud Haider, believes that the Iraqi economic system is built at the expense of the future of future generations. The economic system that was built in Iraq is the system of satisfying people at the expense of their future and the future of future generations, Haider said in a tweet on Twitter. He added that, the economic system will collapse if we do not start taking political and economic decisions, financial, administrative and legislative, that will lead to the rise of the Iraqi economy within a decade and on the pillars of production, production and production. Next article of interest. Parliamentary integrity. The next stage will see serious reforms in fighting corruption. Member of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Hassan Shaker Oda, confirmed today, Friday, that the next stage will witness serious reforms in combating and eliminating corruption. There is a serious trend in fighting corruption and eliminating it, despite the current difficulties, Oda said in a statement to the Iraqi news agency. Iowa. He added that, a lot of reforms will take place through the activation and acceleration of laws that will fight and combat corruption. The cabinet issued, earlier, a package of new decisions, most notably the acceleration of the legislation of the general budget law in line with the requirements of the financial situation, low oil price levels, diversification of budget sources and a re-examination of laws related to fighting corruption. Next article of interest. An economist is surprised to continue wasting huge amounts of money through the currency auction, and no action has been taken yet. Today, Wednesday, economic expert, Majed al-Suri, called on Prime Minister Mustafa Al-Qazemi to open the file of corruption and parasites on private banks to deal with the financial liquidity crisis. Al-Suri told al Akbaria. It cannot and does not make sense to continue wasting huge amounts of money by auctioning the currency in the central bank in conjunction with a severe economic crisis and the absence of a real money management strategy. He called the new government headed by al Qazemi to open the file of corruption and parasites on private banks in order to deal with the crisis of economic and financial liquidity. Al Suri pointed out that previous governments had put many banks under the guardianship of their theft and corruption, but they did not hold them accountable legally enough to deter others. It is noteworthy that Iraq, according to the accreditation of the rentier economy, which depends on selling oil and spending its money, made it an unenviable position, especially with the drop in oil prices and global markets. Next article of interest Parliamentary Finance. The salaries and benefits of retirees and employees will not be affected. Member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Hanin Alcudo, stressed that the salaries and allocations of retirees and employees will not be affected, 
pointing out that the government is still studying the budget in order to resolve its file during the next few days. al Kiddo said in a statement to information that the salary scale for employees will not witness any amendment or new procedures, as the employee's salaries will remain unchanged without any reduction or tampering with the allocations. He added, the salaries of retirees, too, will not witness any modification in terms of reduction, increase, or tampering with them, and the same applies to the wages of social welfare. And that, what is published about reducing salaries or cutting part of the allocations is nothing but mere rumors about the health, and the government is in the process of restudying the budget in order to resolve its file in the next few days. Next article of interest. Visa files for U.S. patent for a digital fiat currency Payments giant Visa has filed a patent application with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, for a blockchain-based centralized digital currency. Dubbed digital fiat currency, the patent can be used to issue any central bank digital currency, CBDC, despite its application in the U.S. Techniques are disclosed which include receiving by a central entity computer, a request for digital currency. The request includes a serial number and a denomination of a physical currency. The central entity computer generates the digital currency for the denomination and linked to the serial number, the patent application explained. The generating includes recording the digital currency on a blockchain. The central entity computer transmits a notification of the generation of the digital currency. The central entity computer causes removal of the physical currency from circulation in a fiat currency system. High time for bringing digital fiats. Though brought to the public recently, the original application was filed by Visa on November 8, 2019. This came when many central banks are mulling for the issuance of digital versions of their fiat currencies due to the threats possessed by the private players like Facebook on the monetary system by their digital currencies. Notably, the Chinese central bank has already developed a digital version of Yuan and initiated phase trials of it in multiple metropolitans. Private players like Alipay are also involved in the development of China's digital currency. Cryptocurrency systems have advantages over fiat currency systems. For example, cryptocurrency money transfers can also be faster than conventional fiat currency money transfers. Lastly, because some cryptocurrencies use blockchains, such cryptocurrencies are often trusted since blockchains are immutable records of transactions, Visa stated. Despite the advantages, there are many shortcomings as well which are keeping the monetary regulators from launching digital fiats. It is not practical for governments to wholly convert their fiat currency systems entirely to cryptocurrencies, since cryptocurrencies require the use of electronic devices. Some segment of the population of a country may not have electronic devices so a complete conversion of fiat currencies to cryptocurrencies is not practical, the payments giant pointed out. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Don't forget to save the link to my channel on the library platform and check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.